Hi, I'm Dr. Ed Laskowski, and I'm a physician in physical medicine and rehabilitation in sports medicine at Mayo Clinic Rochester. I'd like to share just a few thoughts on your upcoming telehealth examination. Video examinations can give us a lot of information. They, they're not a substitute for your face-to-face -face exam, but we can still gain a lot of information to hopefully help you out and give you some suggestions to help you deal with your condition. I'll give you some tips on, on how to set yourself up for a successful telehealth examination. First of all, uh, you, you want enough space. The doctor may ask you to walk to and from the camera, so you want enough space that you can be walking forward and backwards. And the camera can catch this. Uh, it's nice if you can have somebody else holding the camera. It's always easier. So if someone else is available to help you, uh, that would always be um, recommended. And uh, I think it would enable you to do more movements and feel less impeded by anything. So somebody else to hold the camera is a good thing. Enough space is a good thing. Uh, a room free of distractions. Uh, we love your pets and, and everything else, but we, it's kind of distracting if they're in the field of view. So kind of keeping the room clear of distractions and as little possible in the room so we can see you well, that's a good thing. Uh, proper lighting in the room is also good. It helps us to see things very well. Uh, and your doctor, when you, when you see them in the, in, the, um, in the video, they'll probably be dressed like this. And uh, they'll ask you some questions, they'll interview you. Uh, but this is an examination. So your doctor will be dressed like this, but we want you to be able to show us the areas of the problem. So if you have a problem in your neck or your shoulders, your doctor's probably going to want to see those areas. So what we can do is have on something that will permit the doctor to see as much as possible. This could be a, a t-shirt, this could be a tank top, this could be a, a shirt that's easily uh, chain movable and lift upable so we can see as many areas as possible. But if we, if we have a, a neck problem or a shoulder problem, we're going to want to see those areas. Make sure you have enough room to move your limbs during the examination. We're gonna have you move and, whoop, and not hit things in the ceiling like I just did. <laughs> but you wanna, you wanna have enough room to move around so the doctor can see the range of motion about your joints. You wanna be able to make sure that the doctor can see the areas that are problematic for you. So if it's a neck problem, you wanna be able to show them all the areas of the neck that are troublesome to you. If it's a shoulder problem, you wanna be able to show them all the areas of the shoulder that might be troublesome to you. Same thing goes for the elbow and for the wrists. If you have a back problem, you wanna make sure that you have a shirt that you can pull up so that the doctor can get a view of the low back. And this could be, again, a loose fitting shirt or anything that just lets them get a good view and that will permit good and, and easy motion. Um, if you have a problem in the hips or the legs or in the back, because the nerves in the back go in the legs, the doctors want to go and want to see a little bit more. So you want to make sure that you have exposure of the joints that the doctor's looking at. And lots of times it's nice to have just uh, bare feet because sometimes shoes we can't assess as we want to with shoes and socks on. So if you have a hip problem, you're gonna to wanna to wear shorts. If you have a knee problem, if you have an ankle problem, we're gonna to wanna to see those joints. So make sure you wear something comfortable to enable us to see those. Um, it's nice if you have a table nearby, uh, and uh, if, if some of these maneuvers we may have you do on the floor, so a mat that you can put on the floor so we can have you lie on your back and do some maneuvers, that's helpful as well. If you do have an additional person besides the camera person, sometimes to assist with some of these maneuvers, that's a good thing as well. But uh, overall, you know, we want as much information as possible. And by looking at you and having you do some maneuvers, again, we may have you walk, go up on your toes, go up on your heels, move your joints around. Those all are helpful movements that give us information uh, about what's going on with you. So I hope uh, this was helpful for you, and we look forward to seeing you on your telehealth examination.